right, everybody, I'm going to apologize in advance for the fact that I'm using my cell phone to record. Uh, I'm not used to using my cell phone. The GoPro's batteries have started to swell. They swelled so much that they popped the back of it off and it won't close up anymore. So I am putting it away until my new batteries that I ordered this week get here. Something has returned today. It's a beautiful Saturday, my day off, and of course, my Mega Squirt. So, there we go has returned from DIY Auto-Tune. It was fixed under warranty. They did fix the driver, or coil transistor driver and everything. They went through it all, tested it, and it worked. So now I've got to just uh, come in here, bolt it back up into the back of the car, where my harness is, and plug my new laptop into it. Start the car, and try to run it, Auto-Tune it once again, because I'm gonna restart with a fresh tune again and get the thing to run again. It should be straightforward. All I gotta do is plug it in, bolt it down, turn the car on. I gotta tweak a few settings in my tune and then put it in auto tune, start it, and just let it adjust itself. The car has been sitting, hasn't ran for a couple of weeks, so it's probably not going to be very happy at first, but it'll clean itself up pretty quickly. Last time it sat for a week and it took a few tries to get some air bubbles out of the fuel lines from sitting. But it did start and it cleaned itself up pretty quick. Alright, so I got my computer connected here. So I'm going to go and see if it recognizes it as soon as I turn the keys on here. Wow, this camera zoomed way in and I can't do anything about it. Fuel pump primed up first try. Not saying it's connected, so I'm likely going to have to search for the ECU real quick, and then I'm going to go in and tweak a couple of other settings on the the tune here, like for the warm startup, warm up, and stuff, and just get a few things dialed in beforehand, and then we will be able to start it try to get it to idle and then eventually attempt to drive it. Alright, well, uh, trying to use that new laptop Nextbook Tune 1 to use this Tuner Studio was a fail, not because of Tuner Studio or Megascord or anything, but because Prolific, the company that makes serial adapters, has an update for the Windows 10 drivers that basically makes older style chipsets in those adapters totally useless and therefore I cannot connect it to Windows 10 which is total bull so I'm basically just stuck using the old uh, laptop here I'm gonna end up having to get a Bluetooth adapter for the Megascore they do make them hopefully I can get my hands on one of those and just use that to connect the 2-in-1 tablet to. We're plugged in, we are connected to the Megascort. I'm getting a good coolant temp reading. It is 65 degrees outside approximately, and that's pretty much exactly what it is reading there. Okay, the auto-tune is on. I need to move my seat forward so I can reach my pedals again. Alright, clutch is in. Let's go. Auto-tune is already on. About 8% throttle should be enough. And we'll go back to the auto-tune screen. Alright, she does not want to start. I'm going to go check a few settings here. And uh, hopefully I can get it to fire up in just a minute. It's running again. Got to get it to warm up so that the O2 sensor will start to work. And then it should actually start to tune itself and adjust itself. Once I get it to idle, I'll get out of the car and just let it do its thing. But I got to keep the throttle open for right now. So I'll get back with you guys once it's idling. All right, I am standing out of the car. It is running. It wouldn't idle if I stepped out of it or it would, but it would lope really hard and it would try to shut off. Hopefully you guys can hear me over this thing. So what I did, stuck that CD that came with my serial driver adapter, shoved that between the throttle body and the NP2 
egg manifold which keeps the throttle at about 2% open and that's plenty to keep the thing running and allow it to tune itself further. Hopefully soon I'll be able to take that out and just let it run. Doesn't look like I'm going to get to drive it tonight but I will be able to get at least some sort of a baseline going, get it to tune itself pretty well, and maybe sometime tomorrow morning or tomorrow night, depending on how motivated I'm feeling, I can get that thing back out on the road and try driving it. All right, everybody, it's been a couple of days, actually, since I last filmed anything. I don't remember exactly where I was at, but the car is running and driving amazingly on Megascord. I think last time I did any video I was trying to get it to start. Uh, put new starter and new battery all that stuff and was able to uh, get everything solved and get it to start. I had the laptop hooked up to auto tune it got it to idle. I have not figured out the idle air control valve. I've either got it wired wrong or I just have the settings way way off because it has no idea what it's doing with it but it seems to just keep it closed all the time. I'm not going to mess with it too much because the car does, the warm-up enrichment does work, and once you let it warm up, the car idles really well. I actually have a second throttle body in the car right now. This is the one that was on it originally, that you guys have seen on it a lot lately. Uh, the one that's on it right now, I had sitting in the shed, because the one in the shed that I put in it right now was clean and it was able to idle a lot better with a clean throttle body what do you know and I didn't have any good cleaner for this I had a can but it wasn't doing anything so I went and I bought some which is right there so I'm gonna clean that throttle body I got a new gasket for it because I've reused the same gasket like a hundred times and I'm also gonna put this coil pack right here back on the car this one is off of a much later model PT Cruiser hopefully this one will do a little bit better and fresh gasket, clean throttle body. I'm going to go in the engine bay and just tidy up a few things. And then I will show you guys a quick start with the laptop on so I can show you guys the RPMs and everything. And it will pretty much be the end of this video. Okay, so I've got laptop plugged in. The uh, car is not on, of course, so it's not connected. I got the coil pack in as well as the other throttle body right there's the other coil pack I cleaned up a little bit of wiring back here and then uh, other throttle body which honestly looks just the same as the other one so huh. all right clutch in give it like two percent throttle I don't even need that there we go I might have forgot to plug a coil wire in. Better that coil pack is bad. Because I could hear it sparking. Yeah. Oh man, I'm such a genius. Leave a comment if you noticed that before I went back in there and tried to start it. Give it that much, like 1%. I don't know, it probably would have started without throttle input, but... There we go, and zero throttle input. We are operating once again. So, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Like I said, I apologize for the cell phone video, but I'm not looking to leak battery acid all over my GoPro. So until uh, the battery gets here, which should be here within a day or two, actually I haven't checked the tracking on it in a while, so it might be getting here today or tomorrow. In the next video we should be back to using the GoPro. Let me know what you think of the phone video, if it's something that I can use, or if you even liked it better, let me know. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and come back for more Mega Squirt videos. I'm going to be doing a lot more related to this Mega Squirt. For those of you who are looking to do this to your own car or uh, those of you who are just curious and want to see for entertainment. So like I said, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later.